Hey guys, Al Spence here for Golf Coast Custom Models. How you doing today? Chilly day in Florida for down here anyways in March. About 51 degrees out. Hey, uh, man, I did a brain fart. I forgot to do a video on this Angla I did. <laughs> and it, uh, well, it sold real quick. Um, sorry about that. Missed one, but I'm not missing this one. It's what I'm working on currently for a guy. 60 Ford Starliner Custom. I've uh, never done it. Never thought about doing it. A buddy of mine wanted one. I'm kind of doing it like a super stock version. And I look, they did race these. They were they were even raced in NASCAR. Uh, here's the interior. He wants a red one. I'm doing a red two-tone. I was going to do it black. But he really, he likes the red. So, hey, customer's always right. Anyways, I use bright red with two-tone. Flat. Got flat red on the center seats. The cushions or whatever you want to call it. And a bright red on the rest. I did the two-tone lower doors. I did put black carpet in. I've looked at several of these. Almost every one of them has black carpet. I'm going to do the top of the doors up here in a chrome. I know it looks like in a the picture they're like a chrome strip running through here. So I probably just bare metal foil the top of these bad boys. Got the door handles done. I used flat on the armrests of it. You see the dash. Ooh. Anyways, pretty detailed kit, guys. It, it really is. Um, I was surprised. It is an older kit. This is the AMT Artel L. Um, well, it's a two, 2001 kit. Um, he like he mentioned doing these lake. Uh, I think he called them lakeside pipes or something. Side pipes. I like them. I'm not a side pipe guy. I think they look good on older Corvettes, like the 69 and 70 Vets, but the headers, you know, coming out like right here in them. But um, then I think he changed his mind on me, so I'm going to double check before I wrap this bad boy. But the motor, look at these carbs. Got pretty nice detailed four barrels on it. It even comes with fuel lines coming off both of them, coming up. Up here into a fuel filter. So top here. This is the coil down here. That's hooked to this whole unit right here. And it comes down into the fuel filter down here. Where the fuel lines come into. It's got an oil filler here. Nice big tall one. I did a chrome top on it. But uh, this is done up like it's used. It's war. Valve covers on this. You ready? Thunderbird. One of the early versions of Thunderbird before they actually made the car. So the Starliner, I think, was the Thunderbird before they did the Thunderbird. But one thing I got to do, and it's going to be a lot, probably take half a sheet. I got to do the bare metal foil on this rascal. As you can see, it's got a lot of, they had a lot of chrome back then. This whole fin down here is supposed to be, I don't know if I can get bare metal foil cut that thin and on there or not. I can freehand it, but being shakes the builder lately, I'm not sure. Anyways, he's get it's got thrust rims. I'm gonna do the center, the spokes in gray, and then uh, you know the rest is chrome. Um, but that's it. That's where I'm at. That's what I got. The engine's not wired yet. As you can see, that's how I do my my uh. Distributor cap up here, mounted in and everything. I'll trim the top of this white part in. Um, I'll run the wires down and around through here. And then just, I like to dress them like up and over. So they'll come over and they'll fall off the side over here on the tops and come down. I'm going to put white headers on it. I, I gotta decide if he wants just open headers or if he wants me to make an exhaust system because the only th exhaust this car has is the side pipes it's the only option but i do got scrap most of my cars don't have exhaust pipes so i got a ton of exhaust systems laying in there i just yank one out cut it up trim it up maybe run dual exhaust right off the back hanging side by side off the headers i don't know it's up to 
up to uh, Bob how he wants it. So I'll ask him. But that's uh, pretty detailed, man. It's uh, this kit. You guys like the early 60s and stuff. This is one you want a pretty nice kit. So bodies, real clean body. It's not been painted yet. I'm going to do jet black. It should stand out. It's going to be jet black with a... Uh, well, obviously, I'll point it first. But uh, you can see, man, it's a good size body. It's got a lot of chrome. Like I said, I got to do one here. I'm not sure. I might just take and freelance this in with uh, aluminum paint and then do these bottom sides here, like back here, in bare metal foil. This here, I don't, I'll probably have to use bare metal foil too here. But this piece here, this long piece, man, coming all the way up and down the front. It's like chromed all the way down and around. I could probably paint that with aluminum, freehand it, make it look better. I, I'll see. I, I, you know, I can only mess it up once, strip it, and do it again. And, and this here is tricky. Uh, Bobby, I don't know about this. I got to bare metal foil this, strip up here, and then bring a piece off the window down to here, and then do these three buttons in there. So, you know, that's probably a week and a half, two weeks worth of work just right there. I have to paint the inside of this black also. Or I might paint the roof flat red. I might do the roof um, red, maybe red, and then do the visors in flat red. But that's a lot of red. I think it'd be better black. I think it's going to look better black. I'll just shoot this black and then maybe do the visors in a flat black. That way, because it's got to break up that red some. I mean, you're going to look in there and it's just going to be, look like, it'll look like Pulp Fiction Part 2 where somebody got shot in a 60 Starliner. <laughs> Anyways, that's where I'm at, guys. A little update. 60 Ford Starliner here at Gulf Coast Custom Models. Uh, sorry I missed that video last week and that angle I did. It's got a lot going, dudes. Stuff gets crazy around here. My wife's birthday is today. My grandson's is Saturday, so I think my wife, she just wants to have one one get-together thing. You know, she'll do a cake for both of them, and I think I'm going to take them to some figure eight school bus races here locally, and they got uh, boat and trailer races, <laughs> yeah, figure eight, boat and trailer races, school bus races, and a demolition derby. All on one ticket, can't beat that. Anyways, you guys, take care, man. I'll talk to you later. Al Spence here for Gulf Coast Custom Models. Giving you a little update on the Ford Starliner. Yeah, Starliner Custom. All right, take care, man. Holler to you all later. Bye-bye.